we can use the properties of logarithms to simplify expressions, but we can also go the other direction. We can take a pretty simple expression. Here we have the log of y times z to the second, and we can expand that out so that the individual pieces are maybe a little less complicated, but we have more pieces. And that's what we're being asked to do here. It says expand this log of y times z squared. So what I notice here first is that I have a product. This is a multiplication problem. So it looks like I'm going to use the product rule to begin. This is y times z squared. So this can be the log of y plus the log of z squared. So we've expanded that, but we're not done. There's probably a little bit more expansion we could do. Um, this note here says each logarithm should involve only one variable and should not have any exponents. We have an exponent here. This is z to the second. So I can also use the logarithm of a power rule here. That says that if you have um, this number to a power and you're taking a log of it, that's the same as that power multiplied by the outside of this. So I can take this 2 right here and just pull it down and multiply it. So I could rewrite this now as the log of y plus 2 times the log of z. So that is how to expand a logarithmic expression.